Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Uria podcast and this is the episode that some of you have been waiting for. How does God speak your love language? Don't forget if you're brand new here and you've missed some of the episodes, go back and enjoy them. They're not very long, five, six, seven minutes, uh, short daily episodes. You don't need to binge watch them, just catch up with them at leisure. Uh, and also if you know somebody who would benefit from this, please do share it with them. With that reminder, you can get your copy of the Uria book for free via uria.com forward slash party time between now and September the 20th. With that said, let's dig into this episode because it's time to explore you and how God speaks your love language. But there's a catch. You have just one or two primary love languages, but unless you and I happen to be friends and we've chatted about it already, I don't know what yours is specifically. So we have a choice. I could go through each of the five love languages and talk about how God speaks them too, and you just read the bits that are relevant to you. Or... I could give you a few examples relating to those love languages that are trickiest to understand in relation to how God might speak them, and then maybe give you a little homework to explore with Holy Spirit. Can you guess which option I went with? Yes, you're right. Anything that involves me writing less and you talking to God more is always going to be my first choice. First, though, a quick reminder via our friend Gary Chapman of what those five love languages are. Words of affirmation. This language uses words to affirm other people. Acts of service. For these people, actions speak louder than words. Receiving gifts. For some people, what makes them feel most loved is to receive a gift. Quality time. This language is all about giving the other person your undivided attention. Physical touch. To this person, nothing speaks more deeply than appropriate touch. Now, you might be wondering how on earth God can love you via physical touch when he's in heaven and you're right here. It's a fair question. This is where other people come in. Have you ever had the experience where someone came into your life at just the right moment? Maybe they came alongside you with a word of encouragement or a kutch, a whisper in your ear or a hand on your arm. That would be a mixture of words of affirmation and physical touch playing together nicely. Those people are loving you on God's behalf. Sure, God doesn't generally make it a rule to pop over to your corner of planet Earth for a stroll and a chat, not since Jesus was around at least, but that doesn't mean that he can't give you a hug. The same is true if acts of service is your primary love language. That one is about people doing stuff for people. Actions speak louder than words. If you're waiting for God to literally come alongside you and do stuff himself, you might be in for a wait. But other people can be his hands and his feet. And remember, I'm not just talking about Christians. People love because God loves. So be open to that too. And with some of the other love languages, it's easier to see how God can speak more directly. Gifts, for example. Jesus is the ultimate gift. But how about the little things that come into your day? That stunning sunset. That gentle breeze on the back of your neck on a boiling hot day. What if those gifts were from God? And if you're a words of affirmation kind of person, the Bible is littered with examples. Plus, every time you ask God a question, expecting an answer, and you hear those whispers back, those are more words of affirmation. Which leads us quite nicely onto your homework. Knowing what you know about your primary love language, it's time to start collecting love notes from God. There are love notes for you all over this lovely big world of ours. Keep all of your senses open for them. Ask Holy Spirit to help you. You never need to play on your own, remember? Take photos. Drop a note into your diary or journal. Record yourself a voice note. However works best for you, start doing it right now, today. What have we got so full up with God's love that even when other people are in the shade, his love for them radiates through us? That's the plan. Today's Holy Spirit love note. Yes, I celebrate with you, and yes, I'm holding you, breaking your fall when you hit rock bottom. But I'm not reserved for the extremes of life. Papa, Jesus, and Sam.